When ex-government officials are found guilty of corruption, they usually try to stay far away from what got them in trouble, especially while they're waiting to be sentenced for their crimes. But our David Hammer investigation, Hidden Dangers, finds that's not the case for the former Kenner official, and now he's under criminal investigation yet again. Last year, the owner of this uptown home was having foundation issues on an addition from just two years earlier. So he hired contractor Michael Forster to investigate. Uh, I was going through the inspection reports and there was a photo of their foundation, which is where they were having some problems. And I couldn't recognize that as being on his property. The inspector who had approved the foundation work in September 2019 was James Muhammad. He wasn't a New Orleans City Code Inspector. He was actually the head of code enforcement for the city of Kenner at the time. But he did code and safety inspections on the side for a company called IECI, which is hired directly by contractors to check their work. IECI's inspections count the same as a city or parish inspection as long as a government official approves them. In their reports, inspectors use photographs to show the work that was done. But former New Orleans Safety and Permits Director Zach Smith found Muhammad's inspections sometimes use the same photos for multiple inspections, suggesting he never bothered to show up at some of the properties he says he inspected. Smith banned Muhammad from doing any more inspections in New Orleans in October 2019, one month too late for Forster's client. He ended up having a termite infestation that came in through the foundations because they never treated the soil. So he had, you know, in a brand new addition, all kinds of remediation that had to be taken, uh, had to take place in order to fix it. Muhammad was banned in New Orleans, but he kept running the code enforcement department in Kenner for two more years. Last March, Muhammad pled guilty in federal court, admitting he got jobs as an HVAC contractor, even though he wasn't properly licensed, by falsifying permits, then inspecting his own work. Federal prosecutors said Muhammad, quote, submitted fraudulent inspection reports in violation of state law, adding, quote, this practice is dangerous and does not protect property owners as the system is set up to do. And yet, public records show Muhammad was still doing safety inspections for IECI months after his guilty plea on at least five building projects in Kenner. Muhammad is awaiting sentencing and asking for leniency in federal court. This is the final inspection certificate. But now, Kenner resident Sherry Schultz has filed a new criminal complaint with the Kenner Police Department, alleging Muhammad filed a falsified inspection on this home on Fairway Street, a home she planned to buy. To accept reports from someone who has been convicted of misconduct related to the issuance of fraudulent reports it makes no sense to me. I don't understand why the, the city would want to do so. Records show Muhammad gave final approval on December 21st for the whole renovation project, the building, the gas, the electrical, the plumbing. The next day, a clerk in the Kenner Code Enforcement Office, where Muhammad used to be the boss, issued a final inspection certificate. One problem, though. On December 22nd, there was and literally an empty trench, an empty ditch that didn't even have sewer lines yet laid down. That same day after Muhammad's final inspection, the contractor texts Schultz's husband to say he's looking for another plumber to lay the sewer pipe. We asked yeah, Frank Morris, an inspection chore. code consultant in Texas, to review the photos and documents. And he said the code requires plumbing to be tied into the sewer system before it can pass a final inspection. And it wasn't tied in. In fact, as we see in the pictures, it wasn't even laid, the pipe wasn't even laid the ditch. And this text from the contractor says the air conditioning condenser unit still needed to be installed the following week, at least five days after Muhammad's final mechanical inspection. There's no way you can prove in a final in, a mechanical inspection unless the condenser unit is set and has been uh, hooked up and has been charged. Muhammad's attorney, David Corsell, said Muhammad, quote, properly performed all required inspections. The trench was dug and the pipe was installed prior to inspection. Also, the AC condenser was on site and inspected on December 21st. But the photos and records say otherwise to Morris. The inspections were not 
properly done and thoroughly done, if they were even done at all. Kenner City Attorney Mike Power said the city has only one building inspector, so it isn't able to re-inspect the work done by private inspectors. Schultz says the city shouldn't just rubber stamp the work of third-party inspectors. She says Kenner has a duty under the law to make sure those inspections are done right. And if they have reason to believe that that report is not valid or that there are some issues associated with uh, the validity of the report or the inspections that they have a duty to do their own inspections. After we asked Kenner about Muhammad's inspections on Fairway and four other construction projects, Power said he asked IECI not to use Muhammad on inspections in Kenner until April 20th, two years after the city fired Muhammad. Power said using Muhammad on inspections in Kenner may violate the state ethics code, which prohibits former government employees for two years following their termination from being paid for any services involving their former public employer. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Muhammad is scheduled to be sentenced April 5th in front of Judge Lance Afric. Federal sentencing guidelines call for three to four years in prison. Court records show Muhammad arguing for just one year of home confinement.